and how do you deal with this situation something which is called simple equations let us take an example in many a lifetime situation we come across situations where we know certain parameters but we may not know the exact thing this is like you know those games that we used to play as individuals as children of course we are still children but you know let us take an example suppose there are two people here ram sham and mohan now there was a set of pencils which were available in the classroom each of these pencils suppose we had 20 pencils in all now these pencils were distributed amongst ram sham and mohan so let's say the parameters are distributed amongst ram sham and mohan what i know here is i don't know how many pencils were distributed to each one of them but what i knew was that in all 20 pencils were given to the three of these people now i was given a hint this is just like solving a puzzle and these are very interesting things what hint i was given was that whatever is the number of pencil which were given to sham ram and mohan both had how many one pencil more than sham so ram and mohan had one pencil more than sham each which means that both ram and mohan had one pencil more than sham now how do you compute this number i mean you can always start making guesses and at some point in time you will may reach the answer also but is there a scientific method by which i can do it i don't know how many pencils were available with sham so what did i say i said let us assume let's assume that the number of pencils available with sham were x now x can be any number x can be what x can be any number but what i know here is i don't know what is the value of x x could be any number and therefore x is called a variable i don't know how many pencils were available with sham but i assume for a minute that the number of pencils available with sham were x what is the hint i have what i have is that both ram and mohan had one pencil more which means whatever is the number of pencils available with sham ram had that many pencils plus one why because he had one pencil more similarly even ram had one pencil more than sham so x plus 1 so what do i know i know that the sum of all these three is equal to 20 why because 20 were the number of pencils which were distributed between the three of them so whatever is the number of pencils which is available with ram whatever be the number of pencils available with sham whatever be the number of pencils available with mohan the sum of all these three pencils is equal to 20 okay 
Now, if I add all these three, what do I get? I have one here. You know that if you have three variables, if you have three numbers, if you add the three of them, that is equal to 20. So what do I have? Let's take the numeric ones first. I have one, I have one. So one plus one is equal to two. And what do I have? 1x, 2x, 3x. So I write this as 3x. So 3 times a particular number which is x plus 2 is equal to 20. Now can I do one thing? Let me just take this to the next page. What was my? I got it as 3x plus 2 is equal to 20. Now there is basically one property which is prevalent across. This is the sign of equal. So what does this mean? I mean suppose you had two numbers. 8 is equal to 8. This is correct. Now whenever you have these equal signs, the law is, the law of mathematics says that if you perform same operation on both sides of an equation results are same. Right? So basically what happens if you have this 8 is equal to 8 if suppose you add 1 to both of them 8 plus 1 and then on this side also I do 8 plus 1 in both the cases the answer is 9 and 9 is equal to 9. So basically what happens is if you add the same number the results remain unchanged the value of the equation remains the same. Similarly, if I do this as say 8 minus 1 is equal to 8 minus 1, 7 is equal to 7. Again, when I did a subtraction from both the sides, the value remained the same. Same thing happens with multiplication and division. So if I Similarly, applying this logic here, suppose I subtract 2 from both the sides. The idea is you have to reduce these number of variables. So if I subtract 2 here, then this 2 will get cancelled with this 2. What I am left here is only 3x and 20 minus 2, we all know it is 18. Now, 3x can also be written as 3 times x is equal to 18. Just like I said that this property holds for subtraction and addition, this also equally holds good for division. So if I divide 8 by 2 and I divide 8 by 2, the answer is 4 is equal to 4. Look, the idea behind doing these equation is you have to get the variable alone on one side. So what do I do? If I have to remove this 3 from here, I divide this by 3 and I divide this by 3. So 3 will cut off 3, 3 will cut off 18 to give me 6. So the value of x is equal to 6. So now let me just put this in to the equation. So putting these values to the equation, Ram had how many x plus 1 pencil which means 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 pencils. Sham had how many x pencils? 6. Mohan x plus 1, 7. So is the value of the answer correct? So if I add 7 plus 6 plus 7, what do I get? I get 20. And what was the second condition? Ram and Mohan had 1 pencil more than Sham. So Ram has how many? 7, Mohan has 7, Sham has 6. So even this value is correct. 
So basically, then the question comes up is, how do I define an equation? So basically, in an equation, what happens is, you always have two sides, just like I had 3x plus 2 is equal to 20. This side, on the left hand of this equation, or the equal sign, is called the left hand side and this side is called the right hand side. Please note that in an equation both the left hand side and the right hand side are always equal. If these are not equal then these are not equation. In an equation you always have one variable. There is always a variable and what is the variable x now this x can be by any name y z t m l whatever you may want to call it but one variable is also always there so if you had this thing like what i was taking in the example 8 is equal to 8 this is not an equation because there is no variable which is present here right okay okay so basically let me just clean this up let me take a new page only okay so what I said was that in an equation there is always the left hand side is equal to the right hand side So 2x is equal to 8. Please note that in an equation there is always this sign. So if suppose it is written that 2x is greater than 8, is this an equation? No. If it says 2x is less than 8, now these signs are not equal sign. These are greater than or less than sign. So this is not an equation. Let us write certain equations. Problem 1, 3 times a number and 5 are equal to 23. Now if you have to write this as an equation, it says 3 times a number. Now this number is what? A variable. So let us say it is x 3 times which means 3 multiplied by this number and which means plus plus 5 are equal to 23. So that's how you write an equation. Let's write another equation. 5 subtracted from a number gives 18 as result. Now what does this mean? This means that suppose there is a number say x and you subtract 5 from that number the result is 18. So this is how you write the equation. That's the manner in which you write simple equations. I hope this point is clear. We'll be giving you more practical uh, problems on this thing as we move further in our classes.